Hey guys, this is Kate and I have another Illustrated Faith video today and I'm going to share with you some of the new stamp sets and I wanted to show you how cute the new packaging is. So Shauna has made these really cute little muslin bags that have the Illustrated Faith logo printed on them and I think there's like various different colors but um, there's just so much thought and detail behind these orders and I'll put a link below to the Etsy shop where you can get these products so this is what it looks like when I open it up and I've shown this before there's a little postcard that has all kinds of cuteness on it that you can send to a friend and then there's also a sticker that is the same design and the first stamp set I have is explore and it comes with this really cute little like devotional card with a, um, some scripture on the back which is so cute. I have a collection of these now. I just love them. This stand set is designed by Amy Lou Hawthorne and look at her amazing signature and then this really pretty graphic. So I'm going to take it out of the packaging so we can see it a little bit better. And I really love this stamp set. I mean, I love them all, but this one is great because you can use it for so many different things. If you're a card maker also, you could use these mountains. I love how they're already like almost paper pieced for you. And you could use these to create a little scene with some of your other stamps, as well as little pine trees and stuff. And you can also use them for, of course, your Bible journaling. But I like that, the, especially this one, there's a couple of others in the collection of Illustrated Faith stamps that you could use for so many different purposes. I'm also a card maker and I do Project Life and Scrapbook and I can just see myself using these for a lot of different things, including my um, Bible journaling. So it has a really nice little border of triangles, some little arrows, it has Adventure Awaits, Strong, Explore, and B, and then this really great big arrow. Some little um, crosses or plus signs, a single plus sign, and then some dots, which are super cute because you could create like falling snow or something if you wanted to if you're making a card so I just really love this set I think it's really versatile and you can use it for lots of different things and then this one I guess is called, probably called strength maybe I don't know if it has a name but this is from feathers rock Kristen Fields look how cute this packaging is and here's a little card with again some scripture on the back and then this one also has a border of triangles Although this one has like a solid and then an outline, a solid and an outline. I think this would be fun to stamp this way and then flip it and stamp it the other way. There's also a little cluster of triangles. This great big cursive word feathers, refuge, and then it says, it says he will find and then cover you. And then these two great big feathers, which are just awesome. Some kind of arced or um, they're a little bit not straight arrows and then this nice banner here and if you wanted the arrows to be straight you could always straighten them out on your acrylic block you could, you don't have to leave them I'll show you so they come with a little bend to them I like to just put my stamps flat on my work surface and then pick them up with a block so if I were to just straight pick this up it would be curved but I can take it and straighten it out like that and have it straight if I wanted to stamp it straight so you can you can do the same thing with um, the words also if they're arced and you want them to be straight. So just I mean, stamps are one of those things that you can really work with and make make them into however you want them to be. You don't have to use them exactly the way they come. And then check out this great backing for the stamp set. Love that. This next one is from Jody York for Illustrated Faith. Look at her handwriting. Oh, so amazing. It's very Cal Barteski looking. Okay, so this one has some really awesome, big, scripty, handwritten, brush lettering, whatever you want to call it, words with a bunch of splatter around them. They're so awesome. This one said, God has not called you to fit in. I love that saying. Just believe. And this says, wild and crazy kind of love, which, again, you could use these on anything. And then this one says, unfinished, which I think is a great sentiment, too. Some really cool hand-drawn hearts with some splatter across and then just a splatter on its own and I think I'm going to stamp this one just so that you can see what that splatter looks like because it's really it's really really cool um let's see I'll just do this one because I think it'll fit on this block that I have and I think there's a whole video on the illustrated faith 
um, website about stamping in your Bible, but you can use any kind of ink that you want. I'm just going to grab the closest one I have, which is a Lawn Fawn Premium. It's a dye ink, so this might bleed through if you did this in, with your, in your Bible. I don't know if this is the best ink to use. I usually use Versafine, which I find doesn't bleed through. The only problem is it's like a pigment ink and it takes a while to dry, so you have to be careful. This doesn't stamp the best, but it'll work for the purposes of this video. So you can see when you stamp it, it looks like you've done, it looks handmade with all the ink splatters. I think it is so, so cool. I just love that set. And then I love the little icons that it has on here also. And then I'll show you the splatter real quick. Just so if you wanted to add some more splatter like throughout your page, you could just kind of stamp it around and you could rotate it, you know, so it's um, a different directions like that. I think that's super fun. Okay. And then the last set that I have is also, oh, and then, yeah, this goes with this. It's also from Amy Lou Hawthorne, and this is one of the um, devotional sets. And look how adorable this comes. So you get this card. I just love these florals with, again, some scripture on the back. It, it comes with a little um, gold paper clip. Oops. And then it has a little tassel. Look how cute that little, like, suede leather tassel is. So adorable and thoughtful. And then this comes with your devotion. Oh, nice big illustrated face sticker. This comes with your devotional and your stamp set. So this is a kit. Oops. Sorry about the noise. I clearly haven't opened this one yet. Here's the stamp set. So cute. So this is what it looks like. Here's the back. It's the same as the other one. So you have this big, scripty, courageous, love that, brave, the plus signs or crosses, whichever you want to call them, the journey, strength, the arrows, then all of these plus signs. This is really cute. Oh, I don't know if I'm in frame. It says she is fierce and then a little arrow with a heart. So cute. And then here is the devotional. It says the strength within her and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's on really thick, nice cardstock. It has some fun pictures here of Amy Hawthorne. And then you get into the devotional, which these are really cool. Um, if you don't have one, I think you should definitely check out some of the kits that have these. They have nice prompts for journaling and some su a bunch of subje suggested scripture in here. Um, just really fun. Really, really neat. And then, oh, look how cool. Her writing is just gorgeous. So that is everything I have to show you this time. And I hope you check out Illustrated Faith. And if you have any questions or want to know anything else about these products or anything that I've shown in this video, then leave a comment below and ask, and I will be sure to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.